report coming up. Also in your national news, tensions are escalating with Iran. More on the plan to send even more troops to the Middle East. First, though, let's go ahead and start things off with the hot temperatures ahead. Jordan Segundo has got your forecast. Good morning, Dina, and happy Tuesday to all of you. That's right, the heat is on here. We'll likely see some temperatures flirting with the triple digits for today. First off, though, a live look outside through our Cal camera. Beautiful start to the morning. We've got clear skies out there, a very light wind here in the valley, so conditions are pretty mild. There is a heat advisor, though, in place until 10 o'clock tonight, mainly for the central and northern portions of the valley. Out towards Stockton Modesto, they're actually out of this heat advisory. They're actually going to see a nice little delta breeze throughout the day today, which will keep temperatures in the upper 90s. Now, for today, we're going to see highs possibly up to 105 degrees so those sensitive to the heat try your best to really limit your time outdoors now if you're heading outdoors at the moment we're at 62 here in sacramento 68 stockton 67 out towards modesto low to mid 70s up in the foothills and low to mid 40s up into the high country as far as that delta breeze it's blowing in at about 12 miles per hour out towards fairfield so it is pushing in towards the northern san joaquin valley but here in sacramento not picking up any wind at all throughout our day today lots of sunshine all across the board temperatures will be averaging about 99 here in the valley with some triple digits outside 93 out towards the foothills 82 up in the sierra how long will this heat last i have the answer coming up in our full weather forecast dina over to you all right jordan thank you we also want to go outside and get a look at our roads this morning chp officer eric morales is standing by hi eric Good morning, Dina. We have a two vehicle non injury traffic collision northbound Highway 113, just north of County Road 27. Both vehicles are off to the shoulder. No other reports at this time, Dina. Back to you. All right, Eric, thank you so much. Well, as we mentioned at the top of this hour, heads up today if you're driving by the West. Uh, the rather West Sacramento port. Demolition is set to start back up on a warehouse there. So CBS 13's Dan Mitchinson is live at the port with what we all need to know. Good morning to you, Dan. Good morning, Dina. Yeah, the, the port handles mostly agriculture and heavy equipment. It employs thousands of people. It is open 24 7. And the one thing that's constant out here is change. And uh, that's what's going on with this building behind me, too. It used to house fertilizer, but it doesn't any longer. So it is coming down. We are not sure what is going to take its place, but you'll likely notice some activity around Harbor and Industrial Boulevard for today and the foreseeable future. Shouldn't take too long, though, to knock this down, but then you have the cleanup. You have the dirt and the steel, the aluminum, the other metals, uh, the, and trying to clean up this area. It's all part of the port's constant redevelopment development as it continues to find new and more effective ways to utilize this valuable land. Back here, though, we the one thing that we don't know this morning, and we're hoping to find out maybe sometime after 7 o'clock, is exactly what this land will eventually be used for. So that's the latest from uh, the Port of West Sacramento. We'll toss it back to you, Dina. Yeah, prime real estate there in that location. All right, Dan Mitchinson reporting live for us. Thank you.